Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk to you about another new San Diego feature called the Recommendation Framework. So this was rolled out in San Diego. It's an application that you install. It's part of IT service management and it's exposed to the service operations workspace. What I got up behind me here is the release notes that uh, they have for San Diego. And I knew about this for a while. Um, I just wasn't working in my demo environment or my PDI, probably because it's using predictive intelligence and you've got to have a, a solid data set there. The documentation for it, unfortunately at the moment, it's not letting me log in or not, not, not letting me access it, whether I'm logged in or not logged into the documentation site. So maybe eventually they'll fix that and we'll have access to it. But in the meantime, since I can't show you some of the documentation, documentation let me show you um, the properties that come with it. So you've got a new menu item here for recommendation framework and it comes with some properties that you'll see. I'm not going to change anything. I just want to call your attention to the main types of things you're going to see if you turn this on or you turn you activate these properties. So we have knowledge article recommendations for an incident, uh, whether or not to propose a major incident, service recommendation, similar major incidents for the incident they're looking at, similar open incidents, and lastly, similar resolved incidents for the incidents. Now, there also is some other features that, again, I don't have working at the moment, but you can see here assignment group rep recommendation and configuration item recommendation and service recommendation. And there's some thresholds for I'm just, the system just going to go ahead and put it on the field. Um, if you hit that threshold, it'll go ahead and make that suggestion a much stronger suggestion. So let me show you what where this looks look what this looks like and where it shows up in the service operations workspace. I'm going to impersonate Laxmi, who's a demo persona that we use, and when she's in the service operations workspace, all her reports and widgets are all working because uh, she's part of some groups and all the data's there. But what I wanted to do is show you on the incident tab. So I've got an incident kind of drafted here. Uh, she's basically said you know, SAP is not working or something like that. So right behind my head, uh, let me move my head to the other side. You can see here, I've got this recommendations buff panel that's open. Now there's other things that you could have here. It could be um, the actual record information. It could be the old age and assist that we used to see in the workspace, um, who's on call, the any attachments, and then the templates that are available to actually fill this out. Now, if I change some of the text on the actual short description for the incident, so right now it's SAP is not working. I'm just going to type in here test because I know I've got a test incident. So if you see there on the right, it's going to load up some recommendations. And then those recommendations, I can see one that's the top recommendation and I can link it as a parent incident. Or I can just click on it and view details about that incident that's recommending. And you see the latest work note there, test comments, that probably has something to do with why it's recommending this. Um, or I can view the other ones that are similar to this particular incident. So I have a couple others that are there. Um, but if I come back here, I can do other things like discard it, don't show it, look at my history of recommendations that I've taken, and then uh, see other things in there. I'll show you one last time here. We'll just type in VPN in the short description, and you can see it's found another incident where someone's needing help with VPN on their Apple machine, and uh, we can do all those same things. So this is the recommendation framework in action in service operations workspace, and it could be really powerful if you have enough data in your in your environment, so problems, knowledge articles, incidents, in order to populate these recommendations. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I will see you on the next one.